We have such an excess of things. We live in such an affluent community and we have so much extra and it's so nice that we can turn around and sell those things and that people can have really nice things for a really reasonable price and that, and that they're blessed by those things too. We're Foundation of the Family Crisis Center. Uh, the director at the Family Crisis Center is Sherry Castein. About 12 years ago, um, she came up with Melissa's Hope Chest. When she and her young daughter were both abused, um, they decided to um, leave home. Actually, her young daughter was raped at the age of 18 months and left to die by the side of the road. When that happened, they decided they had to go someplace where it was safe. And there were very few shelters, there were very few organizations that could help young moms and their daughters or people who'd been suffering from domestic violence and abuse. Um, her daughter, Melissa, is whom the store is named after. Their dream was to always have a place that would supply income and support for centers, for people who were suffering. And what we do is take in all kinds of items that are donated from the community and we turn around and go through all of those and then uh, sell those and the proceeds from them then are used for the um, financial support of the Family Crisis Center. This business has been huge in the local community. Number one, it gives people a place to bring their items that they would no longer be using. The second thing is we do get to repurpose and reuse all of the items that come in. And if we can't use them, we have other organizations that we can pass them on to. Very few things go in the trash. It has to be broken or totally trashed out before we'll throw it away. Uh, the third thing is, um, because our prices are reasonable, we can accommodate almost anyone in the community. But we have people who shop here who probably don't have very much money, all the way to people who could spend their money wherever they like, but they know what the cause is for and they're so willing to support it. It's a, it's a beautiful process, it really is. That paying forward and paying back is really a really great thing. We have one gal, she has four children, and she suffered abuse for a really long time. And the day she decided to leave was the day that her husband decided to take a hammer to her youngest son. And she said, that was it, I was done, we left. And they ran for their lives, came here, found us. When she first came, she needed dresses for her children to appear in court. And she came here looking for them. She asked if we had dresses and I said no. Two days later, a mom came in with her kids and said, we would like to do something for someone for Christmas. Do you know of any specific needs? And I said, well, I have three little girls there. And he gave her the sizes. And I said, and they need dresses for their mom to be able to appear in court and they need to testify too. The next week she brought the dresses and I was able to give them to this gal and she, was, she just wept. And she just like, I can't believe how nice people are here. She said, I can't believe I grew up not knowing that people could take care of you and would love you like this. Melissa is actually a very well-adjusted 38-year-old now. You know, I think she takes great pride in that too, knowing that, that her story has made a difference with someone because um, not everyone would be able to bounce back from something like that and make something good out of it. And so that's been a real blessing for all of us. And she can empathize so well because she went through those things. I make a point to have Christian radio on all the time just because I have had very many people say to me when they walk in the door, this place is so peaceful, it's so restful here. There's such a spirit of just calmness. I really feel that there's an underlying current of um, Jesus, God's been blessing us in this, in this business. We do a great business, we see lots of customers every day. And from when we started, our average sales were probably about $10,000. Last year we made over $235,000. Most of that then goes back to the Family Crisis Center. So it's very good to be able to say it's been a worthwhile business. You know, it's doing what they, it's doing what they wanted it to do. And that's huge in this community. Um, this job has made a huge difference in my life. I uh, worked at a bank before. And when I gave my notice and my boss asked me what I was going to do, um, and I told him where I was coming, he said to me, you know, there's only, there's only a few places in this world where you get to make a difference in somebody's life. And he said, you've chosen wisely. So, sorry, it was, um, it was a really good move. And um, when Sherry said to me, I'm giving you my baby, she really did. And I really feel like it's my baby. And I'm so thrilled that we can help so many people with what we do. Just seeing what God will do. And he's been doing big things. So we're, we're just, we're going to ride it. We're just going to go with it.